So one of the new connectivity standards coming up really fast is called Compute Express Link, or CXL. We know connectivity standards like PCIe and SATA. This is another one of them, but with very specific models in mind. And one of those models is purely increasing the memory capacity of modern CPUs. Samsung now has their second gen solution to put up to half a terabyte of memory in a CPU. What's your minimum specification? If you want an independent cloud services provider for home servers, VPNs, or clients, consider Linode and sign up today at linode.com slash techtechpotato for a free $100 60-day credit. A recent Gardner performance report shows the Node's topology offers almost double the database performance per dollar than other public cloud services. So if you've never heard of Compute Express Link, it's a new protocol which is initially being uh, developed to run over PCIe. It's going to come to the enterprise market first rather than consumer, so you may not care about it too much. But it's going to offer a lot of different areas in I.O., memory, and cache. Now, the announcement this week from Samsung is that they're developing a CXO uh, add-in module based on what is essentially PCIe 5x8 uh, link speeds and using uh, CXL 2.0 such that a system can, if they have CXL lanes, like PCIe lanes, you can simply tell them uh, this is memory uh, you, and you can just add memory into your system. Normally with a PC we have DRAM slots and you put as much memory as you can into the DRAM slots and you have, you're essentially limited to the amount of DRAM slots you have with the memory supported. With CXL, and especially CXL 2.0 in this uh, memory configuration architecture, you can essentially get a module like an SSD, you can put it into your PCIe slot, and depending on how many PCIe slots you have, or in this case CXL slots, you can increase the memory of your system as if it was a DRAM slot. But you can also use the CXL for networking, uh, for accelerators. It's basically an expandable port. Imagine if DRAM could do more. So in this instance, Samsung has partnered with Montage, who have developed a, an ASIC. Or, I'm not sure if it's an FPGA or an ASIC, but basically developed a chip to which they can attach memory at the end of it that you can plug into your CXL-enabled system and offer up to 512 gigabytes of additional system memory, system DRAM, rather uh, than being just limited to your DRAM slots and using those uh, the, the other PCIe CXL slots on the system for a variety of things. And you can put one, you can put two, you can put three. And from a system point of view, what you see is more and more memory being added to the system. Now, Samsung didn't say whether you can do this live, whether it's hot swappable. Um, it may be, it may not be. Uh, there's provisions in the CXL standard to do that at some point. Though, based on the controller that Montage has provided, I think it's just something that happens at boot time. So you have your massive memory um, configurations. Uh, we're looking at eight channels, maybe more in the future in enterprise two DIMMs per channel, you fill that up with memory, and then you fill up all the CXL with memory if your workload needs it. The point is, if you have, say, a multi-socket solution and you need the equivalent of 40 terabytes of memory, stuff like that could potentially be in the future with this. So this module from Samsung, it's an E3.S standard, which is one of these newfangled enterprise-based um, storage connections, which is essentially PCIe, but they're running CXL over PCIe. Uh, and they can essentially put up to 40 watts of memory into one of these modules. The memory itself is just standard DDR5 chips. Now, obviously, with the montage controller, you're doing some you know, adaptive configuration to that. Now, obviously, because it's DRAM, it's volatile, you do lose it on power off. It's not like Optane. But the whole point about CXL is enabling an expandable standard. Now with this, Samsung div give us some images and they do look like renders. I'm not a big fan of renders, especially when stuff like this is announced. I'd much rather see you know, at least a physical picture of what it might look like. But Samsung say they're you know, currently working with partners. There are no CXL based processors in the market right now. We know Intel's coming out with Sapphire Rapids, but that's CXL 1.1. Uh, we fully expect AMD's Genoa platform uh, by the end of the year to support some form of CXL, whether it's CXL 1.1 or 2. Because this is a CXL 2.0 standard device, 
it may be something we see some on more custom ARM chip designs, whether that's what's coming out from Ampere, perhaps some of the more AI-based general purpose uh, processors, or perhaps Amazon has a Graviton, you know, just in its back pocket. Where exactly it'll end up, Samsung obviously sees this as a big win for them. It means that they can ship a lot more of their uh, DRAM out into the market and uh, at a high pre higher premium than standard as well. What it means for the end users is that you now have a variable, variable amount of memory in a system such that if you want to move it from one system to another, it's just simple to take out and put in using the CSL standard. It will come down... This is just the hardware, right? The, the value is actually in the solutions it provides. And we're still kind of a year or two at least away from that. CXL is going to be a big part of the enterprise at least. Whether it will come to consumer in any reasonable form, it's unclear right now. I mean, consumer platforms, we've got dual channel memory or 120 bits wide worth of memory. And capacity is currently go up to 128 gigabytes if you populate four slots with 32 gig modules. For most consumers, that's going to be at the high end of their limit for a while. It's really going to take four in workstations uh, and enterprise. That being said, it would be nice to see a consumer system with at least some support in it, because then we can play with it, you know, if you manage to get your hands on one. Who knows? Um, because it is DRAM plus controller, yeah, it's going to be a bit more expensive than DRAM. But hey, maybe you just have, you've maxed out your system and you need something to get your work done. CXL may have a solution and Samsung is promoting theirs today. Right ear, it's a female. Uh, the right is 